Hello. Welcome mm. to Take On Meme, everyone. Uh, we are your hosts. I'm James Cartwright and... Will Preston. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> one day we'll get a... Uh, one day we'll get like one of those uh, cool girls <laughs> to, you know, do it for us. But for now, it's just us. Sorry, what do you mean um, by cool girls? Do you, mean, do, you mean, do you mean a legit, legitimate prostitute or a girl oh. who calls? <laughs> no, I don't know why I said cool girl. You said I, cool girl. Um... <laughs> You said cool girl. People are going to think just, less of us. You've ruined the podcast. What? Yeah, I, uh, in, in less than a minute. That's a new record. Um, what do you? What would you call those glitzy women on talk shows? Um, a cool girl definitely isn't the right term. I, I, I call them strong, them independent women, James. I'm a feminist, remember? Yeah. yeah. No, you're you're right. You're right. Um, maybe one day we'll get a strong, independent woman to <laughs> introduce <laughs> us then. Um, no, 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 that's silly. But uh, anyway, welcome to Take On Meme. Um, this episode is going to be about uh, internet polls. Um, so not necessarily like uh, memes, funny pictures, but just um, the funny goings on when companies or uh, individuals come to the internet with a question and the repercussions that uh, comes from that. Because it seems mm. that no one has learned that you don't ask millions of people for their input without it going horribly wrong. <laughs> yeah absolutely um yeah and uh so, i mean people I, I always find polls or surveys to be a weird thing anyway um because who's who's answering polls i don't think i've ever met anyone you know when you, it comes to political voting and stuff i don't think i've ever met anyone that's actually responded to one so i it, i bet it's like two thousand people that are just chained in yougov's basement or something um <laughs> You will vote accordingly, but not so accordingly. Yeah. So it looks like there's organic data. <laughs> well, you know, uh, you know the the monkeys writing Shakespeare on infinite typewriters. It's like yeah. infinite, uh, <laughs> infinite trapped people have to give opinion. You know, will eventually give a, an opinion that actually resembles the data. Mm. But uh, yeah, so this is what we're talking about today. Do you uh, do you have any? Uh, do you, what's what's your favourite thing to poll? What's do my favourite uh, thing to poll? Yeah. Um, I I like um, my favorite thing to poll. I like people uh, giving me their opinions on whether or not they intend to see a film. Because it's oh, the most useless polling ever. It's like, do you intend to yeah. see this? It's like, no. You want to ask if they like the film, not do you intend to see it. Yeah, that's like, uh, that's an interesting one. So is that before they've even seen it? Is it just it, it, in? At polls of mild interest. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I think I, I think the less uh, important the information you're trying to get out of them, the better the poll is. Like, okay, you, yeah. you, you, you could have a poll. Like, there was a poll recently that said, "Oh, uh, do you have any sympathy for the refugees coming in uh, the boat dinghies into this country?" And it looked, and it yeah. basically the data implied that seventy five percent of like Tories and Leave voters said no. And it's like the most clear-cut way of saying, "Ah, oh, this is def this is data that really t goes straight through the heart of society. Yeah. It tells you what people are thinking, and and oh, the things that are wrong, and like things like, oh, if you could, would you see, um, <laughs> would you watch the next Shrek film if tickets were oh. half price?" And it's like, <laughs> I, I, why? I don't need those tickets to be half price. I am watching the next Shrek movie. <laughs> Regardless. Why are you watching it? We already had this conversation, uh, I think, in the last episode, and we were saying, yep. like, the Shrek movies went down in quality after the first one very sharply. Yep. Some redeeming features in the second one, but no. I, yeah. It, actually, to be fair, I don't think I've ever seen Shrek 3. I, um, I never saw Shrek 3. I, I saw no use in seeing Shrek 3. Yeah. I, I, I just looked at the first two <laughs> no Shrek use. films and went, I, I, think, I think the ground has been covered... Like there's nothing yeah. else, is, nothing else to be covered is that here. How you know? So you've, you're going to your people and you're polling if they they want to actually see this film or something. And it's not like binary yes no. It's like, do you think there will be any use in you seeing Die Hard Six? <laughs> <laughs> ooh, uh, uh, ooh. Yeah. Um, uh, no, no. But, use uh, at so all. let's. Oh, sorry. Let's let's start with the I would argue the most famous uh, internet poll. Um, that's every everyone kind of heard of it. I'm pretty sure, uh, but it was the one for Boaty McBoatface in 2016. We definitely uh, have to cover familiar? this. 
Are we? Yes, yes. I I am very familiar with Boat at Boat Face. It is a very, uh, it's a very well used. Your heart. It, 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 well, not close to my not close to my hearty McHart face, but Boat at Boat Face <laughs> sets up a, a great rolling uh, center. This name construction, if you will. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, which has been adopted many times to to Deathy McDeath face. See, there I go. You just you just <laughs> what? Up. Deathy McDeath face. Not it's been one. done to Deathy McDeath <laughs> face. It's been done to death. Oh, okay. You take okay. the word. You add an <laughs> you add an e at the end, and then you go McWord yeah. face. That's the set. That's the simple construction behind Boaty McBoat face. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were saying that the the Grim Reaper had had a poll for a new name, <laughs> and people had come back with like Deathy McDeath face. Now there, now there, um, that poll no. is way too important <laughs> for a poll that I'd like. If they said, "Would yeah. you like to see the Grim Reaper, but you don't get to die," that's a yeah. mild poll. Yeah. Mild poll. Isn't that the point of the Final Destination films? I think it's the point of the final destin. I think the point of the final destination films was, how can we uh, kill teenagers without repetition? <laughs> that's, oh. that's that's the final destination yeah. films. It's like each death has to be unique and horrible and creative, like not just <laughs> oh they fell over a bit and stopped breathing or yeah. they get stabbed with oh. a knife. It's like no 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 no. For you see. Mm. at that very moment a bit of loose metal gets flicked up on the trains and cuts someone's head yeah. off and you're like that hasn't happened in a film ever we'll put it in this like film. Uh, gruesome gruesome rude goldberg machines like a like an okay go <laughs> video gone <Yes>. wrong it's a cheery music as well died of cancer yeah yeah okay so anyway, uh, oof, Boaty McBoatface. So a bit of uh, mm. a bit of background for this, because it's something that people are aware of, but the point of this is going into a bit more detail so people can learn out their means. And uh, so this was a poll in uh, March 2016 by the Natural Environment Research Council uh, from the UK, um, and seeing they were go- they had nearly finished building a new Antarctic research vessel, and they wanted <laughs> the public to to name to name mm. a ship. Uh, yeah. to name the ship basically now a few facts about the ship because i thought it was pretty cool this ship was fifteen thousand, or oh, was is fifteen thousand tons heavy uh length 130 meters like i can't even run 100 meters could, that's could pretty I, impressive could i just stop you there i really love yep. the fact that you managed to get the statistics on boaty mcboatface <laughs> yeah i really like, oh, like, well, like... Ah, ah. That's, it's not of boaty mcboatface though that's the problem that's okay, why we're okay. talking about this. Okay, the boat formerly known as Boaty McBoatface. You've got <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. clear <laughs> statistical evidence here as to yeah, what yeah. the boat is. And I think that's I think that's yeah. perfect. I well I I, I care. <laughs> I want to show that I'm putting my research in. Um but it it can go speed 17.5 knots, which is about 32 miles 32 kilometers an hour. Uh, it can smash through ice because it has a class four polar hull. Um, I've actually done a lot of reading about ice breaking ships recently, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, and it can carry exactly one helicopter. Um, so if you if you had to name a ship like this, uh, Luke, what would what would you call it? Do you think? You just called me Luke. It's an Antarctic. Oh, that's because I saw Luke popped up in the chat. <laughs> oh, uh, you can actually sorry. see the chat as well. I can. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Luke. Um, okay okay but yeah we, sorry will i'd like to will, i'd like to point out that we, we, we're doing a first this one just in case there's any confusion it's currently going out live on twitch uh yeah and some people can comment in and uh luke who used to do the podcast with us very good friend of ours uh is yeah. continuously calling us bald and asked me to put a shoe on my head to prove this is live not going to happen. The um, funny, the funny thing is, a couple of years ago, we did a show together called uh, Two Vegans Two vegan. and a Bald Guy" because yeah. Luke and myself are vegans. Uh, but now it's changed, I think, to bald guys. <laughs> you have <laughs> become vegan, the middle of, of a Venn diagram. Yeah, you are a Venn diagram uh, I, between me and Luke Porton. I uh, I recently I recently shaved uh, shaved my hair, but um, it's good because I've spent all of 2020 with people complimenting the shape of my head, which has been. Quite nice. Welcome to the club. I doubt it's, Luke will shave his head. It's not a trapezoid. Luke yeah. won't shave his head because he's got a very fine, thick head of hair. Okay. It's like that's that's 
Back to the meat. Back meat. to the question. Back I was asking. Question. I was asking you, what would you call? What would you call a, an Antarctic research vessel that's got all of those impressive things? Like we're going to get to the look things, but I just wanted to know if you had any any thought because if I was going to call it something like that, I would call it RSS Pingu personally. Well. Okay, we're talking about a boat that's quite big, uh, has, can carry a helicopter, can smash through ice. It sounds quite yeah. impressive. I think you should just call it Wagner's Ring Cycle. <laughs> One for the music fans. <laughs> like how I've, we're, naming, we're naming a British ship, and I've gone for the French Pingu, and you've gone for, a, <laughs> is it Austrian Wagner or German? I, 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 I assumed he was German. Ah, yeah. I, uh, yeah, he, he, he might be, but definitely neither of us has gone for British, which is funny. Um, <laughs> but the, the, so the actual names that came in for this poll, um, so obviously the top one uh, in this poll was Boaty McBoatface, which yeah. took 33% of the vote, which actually was um, less than I was expecting. I thought it had dominated a bit more than that, um, mm. but that got 124,109 votes, which is... It's pretty impressive. That is good. Um, and then the next, the next ones down, uh, unfortunately, aren't, aren't quite as good. The next one is Poppy Mai uh, with ten percent of the votes. What's this Poppy is actually Mai? quite a sad story. Well, this is sad. Uh, in around the same time this uh, this happened, um, this poll, there was a small girl that uh, died from cancer, oh, and no. uh, she made the news because she, uh, in the last few days before she died, she had married her dad. You know, uh, as like a last nice thing and uh, i think a lot of people put her on the poll so that she would get remembered um do you say so married that, her dad nice gesture married her dad i, I didn't yeah it just if, if you look up poppy my i don't think i don't think it was official because she was like three or four but it was uh they had like a ceremony because she said she loved her dad the most and oh stuff and, that's really yeah. weird uh, i'm not gonna i'm just gonna um, bring it boating mcbow face in the background because because yeah. um but Boaty uh McFace. so that that was but the next one was Henry Worsley, who was the name, uh, and that got four percent of the vote, um, and that kind of makes sense because Henry Worsley was like a, uh, and he followed in the footsteps of Shackleton in two thousand nine for the mm. successful um, Antarctic expedition, uh, and so it kind of makes sense that you'd name a research vessel after him. Yeah, um, and the the one after is David Attenborough, um, and that got two point nine five percent of the vote, so three percent. That's very and then the sad. last one. Yeah, well, so we're going to come back to that in a second because that's the name that won. Um, but the the last one tickled me, which was uh, "It's bloody cold, <laughs> it's bloody cold here," <laughs> uh, with with nearly two point eight five percent. But it's just behind David Attenborough. Um, but David Attenborough is the name that they ended up going with for the boat, uh, which and uh, not very democratic, to be honest. Yeah. Um, because you'd think it was between voting with boat face and David Attenborough, but it was <laughs> actually quite a quite a big difference. Um, yeah. Kind of kind of interesting that you could win a poll with three percent of the vote, just like <laughs> just like the British British political system. Yeah, I, um, I, I, I think I think that the the RHS David Attenborough is the sensible one. Well, I, I'm confused why I didn't go with Poppy May, because Poppy May would have been a much yeah. nicer thing to do. I, I'm not. I, yeah, I I'm don't not know. saying the naming of boats has to be done out of kindness. I'm just saying that it would have been a nicer thing to do. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 that, that would be great. The HMS, we're really sorry, India, would be fant a fantastic. Boat. <laughs> oh um, mercy! But yeah, I. Uh, it, but so it ended up the RSS uh, David Attenborough. But like you said earlier, it started a naming trend uh, and. Some of the my favourite ones have been uh, Google's grammar parsing software that they use in Gmail and stuff is called Parsy McParseface, um, <laughs> which is quite funny. And yeah. Megabus have uh, named quite a few of their buses Mega 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 Face. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, uh, I it's 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 endearing, um, and it kind of. Oh yeah. So, uh, but boating with boat face wasn't the end of it though. And uh, so, one of the submarine automated submarine vessels uh, that went on the boat, they ended up calling boating with boat face. And I've sent you a link um, mm. because there's actually an amazing happy ending to this story, which is on the first uh, the first outing of this um, nautical automated submarine thing. Um, it immediately confirmed things to do with climate change. So it was the most successful like launch. Of an let's automated have, let's get this ever. up. So, Boaty McBoatface got the last laugh. So, Boaty McBoatface made significant climate change discovery yeah. on Maiden. Is that Boris Johnson? 
Oh, God. It's ruined everything. <laughs> oh, no. He's ruined it. Okay, anyway, the polar... Let's have a look at the story. So, oh, Boat in the Boat Face, a British research submarine made a major climate change yeah. discovery on its maiden vision. The high-tech, remotely yeah. operated yellow submarine... Why did they have to word it like that? ...discovered a significant link between Arctic winds and rising sea temperatures. The findings were published... La, 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 la. So, basically, it found, it found some data, and in the background is a prick. Mm. Wow. <laughs> that yeah. Oh, that... I didn't... I didn't. I didn't notice he was in that photo when I took that link. That's made me really yeah. sad. That that's made yeah. me sad as well. <laughs> yeah. I know. Well, so <laughs> the but reason. So the reason why I wanted to start with Boaty McBoatface is because mm. it's probably the most tame of the internet polls that got hijacked, yeah. and uh, I want to look at a few of the other ones that have been pretty funny over the last over the last few years. Okay. Um, so the next one I want to talk about. Is, uh, unless you have any more boating with both face thoughts before we move on. I don't think I do. I okay. think we've talked enough about boating with both face. I think so. I think I've said it enough for a lifetime now as well. Mm. Um, so this is the next poll I want to talk about is one of my favorites, uh, which is so Taylor Swift, uh, the famous pop star made famous by Kanye West of course how did she, uh, how, did, how, she how did he make her famous what it, he, I'm so uh, uncool <laughs> I'm I'm so I'm kind of joking but uh in 2011 oh yes uh, at the at the M uh, the VMA awards I think yeah uh yeah. he got up and when single ladies didn't win yeah. um but he he legitimately in his songs he says like I made you famous and stuff like that so I was saying it somewhat ironically um, apparently there was some call uh, there was a controversy recently to do with a call coming to light as well between him Kim and Taylor as well but pfft, that's not what we're talking about we that's are it. and also but but it is funny because I reveal that uh, I know far too much celebrity gossip for my own good so this video um, you sent me then so I did yes so hey in guys, 2012 Taylor. Taylor Swift I'll let Taylor explain okay yeah. hey guys it's Taylor I would really love to play a free concert at your school so if you go on taylorswiftoncampus.com, you can vote, and you could win a VH1 Storytellers concert or one of five $10,000 scholarships. It's so cool. And it's all brought to you by Chegg for Good, and the school with the most votes wins. So, so vote. Good luck. See you soon. I'm going to take... I, I, okay, no, no offense to, to, to the lovely Taylor <laughs> Swift. I'm going to take... Uh, a stab in the dark very horribly and say I don't think she's that used to public speaking because when someone says so cool or something like that it's like they're searching for things to say I mean I've been there I've been there but that might have thought was oh god this is the first take this is the first yeah. take of her saying this yeah. but anyway so with a Taylor Swift performance on your campus what a lovely thing that is, that's really cool yeah would you would you have wanted Taylor Swift to play at your school no no I wouldn't <laughs> no no, but I'm sure. I'm sure there are loads um, of other people who would. Yeah, I. Uh, I she, she's one of those people that I'm very aware of her, but I don't. I couldn't name any of her songs. But I think that's more of a statement that uh, I out of the loop than. Uh, yeah, I, I think they're not aimed oh, at no. me. I lie. I of course I know the uh, you were trouble when you walked in because that got memeified. Oh, to oblivion. that 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 yeah. that deserved its own episode. Yes. That's, that's, yes, I mean, that's, that's, that's a, that is a good pop song. That is a good song. Trouble When You Walked In is a very good pop song. And the one she did recently it was it Look What You Made Me Do. I haven't heard the song, but I have heard a mash of that and Lucretia My Reflection by Sisters of Mercy, this goth song. And they oh. fit together really well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, awesome. I'll send it, send it to me later. Uh, <laughs> the, um, so anyway, the, she put out this poll... And um, very quickly, 4chan uh, no! got involved. <laughs> yeah, I know the hacker 4chan. Uh, he overtook. He took over poll, and uh, the immediate uh, the name that came to the top was uh, Boston's Horace Mann School, the deaf and hard of hearing. <laughs> so uh, they managed to basically make a school for the deaf, and apparently some other uh, similar options become all of the top selected entries. Uh, in the poll because you could submit your own options obviously yeah um, and they even despite um, I think that even despite them trying to take the names out uh, that name ended up winning <laughs> which is quite <laughs> funny um, obviously I think they went uh, they went with another school 
but the uh, Taylor was quite good about it. She sent fifty thousand dollars to the school. Oh, that's um, nice. But, yeah. But then a bit of salt in the wound. She offered them tickets to a show, which um, I'm not quite sure how that plays out. I guess well, they the, like the, moving lights. You mean you, you mean you mean you mean? Oh, I thought you meant to, to the people on 4chan. Uh, no, to the, <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't know. Uh, no, to the, to the kids from the school. I I I I reckon they just like being there. I reckon because she's the kind of pop star who'd have a spectacle on stage, wouldn't she? She'd have a spectacle on stage. I think that's mm. fine to watch. Yeah, yeah. I. But also, I mean, I've um, I've met some quite musicians in my time, and mm. you'd be surprised how much you can hear and experience music without hearing, because mm. the, uh, so much of our hearing experience is through our bodies and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And um, yeah, and uh, so I actually, I uh, people people mock that uh, decision for her to give the tickets, but I can actually imagine that with the whole. Uh, sensation of everything that actually being quite in- interesting I, I i i i thought it'd be really good but, but i get the jokes there you can tell you can see the joke the joke's <laughs> yeah, right yeah. There. the joke writes but, but, itself <laughs> but but, but it's, and it works on the very surface level yeah. and you go okay the more we dig it turns out ah they would have enjoyed it anyway yeah whatever yeah no exactly um and then but in the same vein pop stars i, I mean to be fair the, the, all the next ones we're going to talk about almost specifically target pop stars because i think they're very easy to uh very easy to pile on um and i sent you a link for this because i thought we could just go through the article because it's kind of just it writes say, itself they they not yeah. only are they easy easy targets it's okay because they're rich uh and famous it doesn't matter anything as long as you're not yeah. cruel so here we go What's the headline? As long prank as leaves <laughs> prank leaves Justin Bieber facing tour of North Korea, fifth of July two thousand and ten on the BBC website. Yeah, <laughs> Canadian singer Justin Bieber's. I'll ask for it. What the Justin Bieber's what has become the target of a viral campaign to send him to North Korea? A website polled users as to which country he should tour next, with no restrictions on the nations that could be votes. Come on. Come no. okay. To actually, to be fair, if they um, started putting restrictions on countries, they would have been accused of being racist, etc. But North Korea, man, yeah. I know. Jeez. But I love. Yeah, it, it is so funny, um, and I love. Oh, it, I, I I wish it had kind of played out, but I love the fact that because uh, when you whenever you read this story, it says he nearly got sent to North Korea as if <laughs> as if the record label was considering it and making you know like well i'm sorry well, the people did vote <laughs> i don't want to go against democracy on this one so and what and what, <laughs> yeah, what yeah, better yeah. way to celebrate democracy than you going to the democratic people's republic of republic of korea yeah i mean i've just said democracy <laughs> twice in that sentence bieber come yeah. on come uh, on it, i um oh, Oh, actually, a totally, totally irrelevant fact, but something that I love about North Korea is: uh, Have you seen the operating system they use on their computers? It's no. a, a reverse-engineered version of Apple. It's so surreal, um, and it's all like they've slightly changed the colors and things like that. But uh, all the official computers use their own version of like Apple software, and obviously, Apple occasionally go, oh, "Could you not use our soft, you know, software and- like that?" And you and go, say, oh, oh, could no, you we... not use our software like that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but the North Korea always go, it's ours. We developed it. We don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's, it's, um, I, uh, yeah, I, I, I have no sympathy for Apple. Obviously, I have no sympathy for Apple on that one because the Apple OS no. is heavily, heavily stolen from Unix, which is a free operating system. Mm. <clears throat> well, so but with Justin Bieber, though, I, Justin Bieber is an interesting person because I think there's a point in time where everyone did him. And now I think uh, most people either uh, it's general apathy. I think you know he exists and people accept it. Yeah. Um, but I think in the last few years he's got really Christian, if I remember correctly, because he got married and uh, I know he posts on Instagram, posts a lot of religious stuff. Oh wow! Um, okay. But I, I only found out about his. I mean, obviously he had an Instagram. I'm not saying that I discovered it. Uh, but he posted um, lyrics from a Tool song a couple of years ago. Saying like uh, only the coolest fans will know who this is, which is uh, it's pretty interesting to know that Justin Bieber's into Tool. <laughs> I don't. Uh, know. So I, a I, man I, of surprisingly good taste. <laughs> I don't know. May, maybe I I I, <laughs> I I I don't think there's any hidden depths to Justin Bieber, but I'm willing to be proven wrong. <sighs> I thought you were about to say there's hidden depths to Tool. I was <laughs> them. No, them be fighting words. No, the, problem, the, pro- <laughs> the problem is with Tool is there are too many obvious depths. 
I mean, very yeah. long, very long although, songs <laughs> and hidden yeah. meanings and whatnot. I, although I tell you what um, would make a lot of Tool songs better is just a featuring Nicki Minaj. That would be fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> just in the, <laughs> in the middle of lateralis. Yeah, bitch, you know what I'm saying? Bitch, I got my ass, ass, ass. <laughs> Something, like that. Something like that. Pretty sure that was a, a spot on Nicki Minaj impression. I th I, I've, um. <laughs> I've heard that much Nicki Minaj, but from what I remember, that is that sounds like Nicki Minaj. Right <laughs> yeah, assassin yeah, yeah. There. It's, it's just, uh, yes. don't do it again, because we will get cancelled. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, yeah, but so I, wait, wait, I wonder where he ended up going. Does the news will say where uh, Justin Bieber actually ended up? So Justin uh, Bieber, let's see. Poll. The contest, la 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 la. The voting is still not on Zorst. La 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 la. The, the spokesman for the North Korean embassy in London told BBC News that any application for 16-year-old Bieber to talk would be dealt with by its mission to the United Nations, although the matter would be referred to Pyongyang. Um, <laughs> it hasn't really said. No. It hasn't said what the the result was with the story. Can you see a result? I, I can't see a result in the story. I'm very bad at reading news no. stories. I, I get bored and skip over things. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go, go back, scroll back down, scroll back down. There was, mm -hmm. there was something quite interesting there. Uh, uh, there have also been false rumours circulating that Bieber had died, that he had joined a cult, and that his mother was offered $50,000 to post topless in Playboy. <laughs> ah! was, Sorry, was that by I, uh, I just saw well? the top... I mean, I assume so. Uh, but I just saw the post topless in Playboy before you started scrolling up. And I was like, whoa. Well, I'm really bad with my um, uh, word detection because I would have jumped on yeah. that. Yeah. I, um, I only said his mum is a moral woman. That's, uh, that's nice. That's, that sounds um, like, that sounds yeah, like so a peep show where they call Mark Corrigan the, on, the honourable man. It's like... I, see, I think... Who calls him that? He calls himself the on. You go, Mark Corrigan, ah. an honourable man. Yeah, because I think I think by the end of Peep Show, Mark's probably the worst of them. Like, oh, I Mark, think, Mark's horrible. Jeremy, Mark, Jeremy never really changes, and Super Superhands improves. Like Superhands al is almost a, a normal human being. At the end, despite the crack. Simon but Hands, Mark's Simon. His, his name's Simon. Mark. Mark. Yeah. The thing is, okay. Sorry to go on a tangent again. The thing with Peep Show is, I've discussed the end the ending a few times after it came out, and and the thing is, it's a perfect ending. I was I was convinced. Uh, I had other people convince me it's a perfect ending because at the end of this, after all their growth, after everything they've done, after all the bad stuff, after what's happened, they have gone back to square one with with each other because they both deserve to live and die together because they, they they've got what yeah. they deserve it's it's great i love i, I love that show so much it's uh, it, one of the few british comedies that you could that recent british well i say recent within the last 20 years that you can still just pull out and go this is what you should be watching yeah. what i mean oh. the only other the only other british sitcom i've seen in in that time yeah. in the last say five ten years is friday night dinner Friday Night Dinner is fantastic, oh. fantastic sitcom. I've only, I've only seen the first couple of seasons. Keep meaning to watch more. I'm a, I, I've a watched, big fan uh, of Mark Heap. Oh, Mark Mark Heap's just fantastic. Yeah. Have you yeah. ever seen Big Train? Have I seen Big Train? Yeah, I've got Big Train on DVD. <laughs> that look. Yeah. yeah I, love, I love Big Train. Big Train is my... Uh, people, when they talk about Graham Linneum, uh, and obviously Father Ted, it crowd come up top. But for me, it's always Big Train. That is just two series of near perfection. Which is confusing um, because people... it wasn't Gray and Linham, it was Arthur Matthews. What? No. Oh, yeah. No, it's in between. It's just after Black Books. So yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's after Black Books. But it was. Oh, wait a minute. It was Gray Linham. Fuck. Ah, damn. It yeah. was Gray Linham as well. His, his turfy yeah. hands are all over it. Look at him there. Look at him there, hating trans. Oh, God. Even in the pop up. Linneman is a vocal critic of transgender rights activism. Yeah, he's he's a horrible man. Oh, it's a uh, you know I think he was only like twenty five when he wrote Father Ted though, which is pretty crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. That's very crazy. Yeah, I, I I'm always I'm always impressed by people that do things young. Like, I still can't get my head around the fact that Metallica were twenty two when they wrote Master of Puppets. Uh, that's crazy. I mean, I. Mm. I I can't, I can't, I was trying to think of what I could do at 22 and I can't really, there's not really a long list. <laughs> um, but uh, so it was a, a similar, a similar incident to the Justin Bieber going to North Korea though, mm. is um, Pitbull got, uh, he asked for a, 
I think he went to play in a Walmart. He said, which Walmart parking lot shall I play in? in oh, I heard about this. Um, so, yeah. yeah, and you could vote, or maybe, yeah, and you could vote for any Walmarts. And uh, the one that ended up being selected was on in Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> Pit and, Bull. and to be fair he went <laughs> he did it okay all I can find is when I say Pitbull parking lot is Pitbull attacks five year old in parking lot <laughs> oh god <laughs> kind of not what I want Pitbull rap. you should have <laughs> how do I you should have put what should I put uh, down Mr. Worldwide <laughs> Mr. Worldwide <laughs> name Mr. Worldwide, Mr. Parking, Worldwide. Yeah. parking lot. Parking lot poll or something, yeah. This is not helping. Oh, no. This is not helping. Okay, well, it's okay. If you if you put Pitbull in there as well now, if, uh, with Mr. Worldwide in there too, that should help. There we go. Pitbull, make it a big... Wait a minute. No. Uh, no, it's I, not... I promise you, I pro... This happened. This happened. It definitely happened, yeah. There Pitbull, we go. Pitbull heads gonna... to Alaska. Is this what happened? There we go. Yes. See, I'm not making it up. Yeah, he went and played in the absolute back end of nowhere in Alaska. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So that's when it worked well, but then they, they sort of made it yep. work anyway. Well, it may works well, but what I like about that one compared to the other polls is he actually honoured the result. Whereas all of the other ones, the poll gets hijacked and then they disregard it, but he actually owned it. Um, okay, cool. So we've looked at a few of these mm. and the whole reason we've been looking at these is because it's setting up for what I consider to be one of the funniest things on the internet. Yeah. Like I know people are, pro people are listening to this or watching this and they might think, but there have been barely any memes. This has all been set up. Like if you do anything in comedy, you know that you have to explain a concept so that you can realize the full potential of that. Okay, with that said, I want to talk about what I think is the funniest hijacked poll of all time. <laughs> have you have you ever heard about this, Will? It's called Dub the Dew uh, by Mountain Dew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, yeah. I've, I've heard about this one. Okay. So in 2012, in August, Mountain Dew announced a new apple flavor. And they said in a poll that you, the audience or, you know, the customer could name the new flavor of Mountain Dew. And the, the, name, uh, the name of the poll called Dub the Dew. Okay. Um, and 4chan took over this poll and the results are absolutely hilarious. <laughs> there is not a single entry in the top 10 that is not offensive or misguided or horrible. <laughs> and... Uh, Will, could you could you pull it up? Because we're going to go through in all of them, but in reverse order. Oh, I can't so, get this. I can't get this. This link's not working, man. You gave me a bum link. Uh, uh, did I? Yeah, you gave me a bum link. How dare you? How oh, dare no. you do that? Ah, uh, well, I mean, you could just Google dub the G. Okay, I'm going to Google it now quickly. Dub the. Cause I, I don't, I'm going to do it in my other window because I don't want anything. There we go. Yeah, anything popping up. Yeah. Oh, I That's accidentally fine. wrote uh, Dew as in... I actually... Uh, correct, correctly... Oh, here we go. <laughs> with a, did you write with a J? I, I, I wrote <laughs> Dew with a J. When, I, I know I shouldn't. Oh, oh. Yeah, okay. especially with number one on this poll. Um, yeah. Okay, so have you, have you got it? I'm trying to get I'm trying to get a good... Uh, there we go. Here we go. I'm going to put this link in. We're going to look at it. We're going to be surprised. So for Shan... There we go. Strikes again. Trolls Pepsi yeah. dubbed the Jew. Obviously, they're under Pepsi. So, <laughs> oh, okay. now I want to start from number ten. I'll work our way up to number one. <laughs> um, yep. So, number ten on this poll, <laughs> name for what you would call an apple-flavored Mountain Dew, moist nugget. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Uh, that number... works. That works. Yeah, for I you, know. I think. That the... works. What What I love about this going through this top ten feels like a game of cards against humanity. <laughs> It does. It really um, does. <laughs> and so number nine was gushing green <laughs> granny. <laughs> and I, I'm just going to warn you now, gushing grannies is a bit of a, <laughs> a theme in this poll. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> imagine if <laughs> imagine if Boaty McBoatface had been Squirty McSquirter face. <laughs> oh, my. It's so much worse. Oh, my. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh goodness. Um, but then number eight on this poll is Fabulous Apple. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, number 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 seven is Gushing Granny. <laughs> number six is Gushing Grannies. <laughs> This is like when you're trying to put as many hashtags as you can in and then you try different variations of the spelling just to get your coverage. <laughs> Number five is Ranny Squirt. <laughs> Num- Number four is Gushing Granny. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no, no. Uh, the, the top one's wrong on your screen. Yeah, I know. I was about this to say that. This isn't the, this isn't the leaderboard. Yeah, just a second, because you gave me a different link. You're gonna have to. You, you, this, this is diff, this is a different leaderboard. I'm gonna have to uh, get the correct leaderboard uh, up, no. and it's quite it's quite the As thing. A, but let's 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 get through this. Then I'll I mean, bring it's, out. It's it's uh, nearly correct. It's nearly correct. To be to be honest, I've got the correct one next to me. It's nearly correct. So just leave we'll, it there. We'll go through um, this leaderboard so, and then and then then pull out pull out the the, the one that won. <laughs> Don't say pull out after just say gush and grannies five times. I, I will say what I want. G- <laughs> grannies need to to gush too, mate. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's sexual, a sexual positivity. I can get sexual behind. positivity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that. Uh, is the highest infections, uh, the highest uh, amount of STDs are all in nursing homes. <laughs> I heard about that. That I heard about that. Yeah. 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 I know. It, it turns out that chlamydia is just. Isolated to old people and koalas. <laughs> <laughs> it is a 1950s disease. <laughs> yeah. Um, any any luck on the? Uh, so, it's okay. Well, I, I, let's go. I let's go. What... Let's go for the last couple. We've got, we've got, we've got diabetes at three, yeah. Fapple at two, and gushing granny at one. Yeah, but no, no, no. So no, that's what that's specific. I was saying number one is wrong. On yeah, but that number one, that number got. one is wrong. We're going to pull up the right one now. Yes. <laughs> at number one, at the end of the, the poll, the, uh, correctly, was bum bum bum. Hitler did nothing wrong. Yeah. That's 4chan. Gushing Granny's yeah. like 4chan mild. It's like they, immediately they had to go for fascism. Yeah. And here they have yep. Hitler now, did nothing wrong at one. Yeah. I, I come back to this poll at least a couple of times a year, and every time it makes me laugh. Um, and so I. There are a couple of other things as well. So if you Google uh, in that window, put Mountain Dew Hitler logo. Someone made a logo of that name. Oh, I'm going to do this off screen just in case something horrible comes up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something. <laughs> All your porn selection. <laughs> All your Hitler porn comes up. That's exactly why I'm doing it incognito, just in case my far right porn makes yeah. it known to the world. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. Uh. <laughs> I'm pulling this up right now. We get, we're going to have a blast. Wow. I love it. I love wow. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. 4chan, so man. Funny. You guys have no shame. No. Um, no. And that's... You, we, we haven't even finished yet, man. So the funniest thing is... Uh, well, I, I, I say this is, a, this is pretty funny. Um, but the website also got hacked as well. Okay. Um, and so... Because obviously, after you think you're probably thinking, why didn't Pepsi take this down after like one day? And it's because they lost control of the servers. Two no! weeks. Uh, <laughs> and so they couldn't even take the website down because it got completely. Uh, someone managed to mask, I think, like mask the propagation of the DNS of the website, which means like point the uh, the name of the site to your own server. Mm. And so someone recreated a website that had this poll with like hit nothing wrong at the top. Then they also put on, I'm not kidding, um, uh, uh, they put a banner at the top that said Mountain Dew salutes the uh, Israeli Mossad for demolishing three towers on 9 11. What? <laughs> you, can, you can Google it. It's, uh, I mean, you don't have to. I but, won't. Uh, I won't. They put this, you put this. You put this big green banner at the top saying saying that, and so <laughs> yeah, a Pepsi, they're probably thinking, well, at least this can't get any worse. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, I for me, that why I wanted to talk about internet polls because I, it just I love that no marketing executive seems to learn and it just continues. Um, 
And I think we can, we'll end the episode. Uh, I think we're coming to the end. But just before we do, I, there's one other little poll that made me laugh, which was uh, in Austin, Texas. Uh, they had a poll to name one of their garbage dumps. <laughs> as you do. And uh, the, the winning vote was uh, Fred Durst. <laughs> Um, which is, I think, kind of funny to me because that's basically who I look like now. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't, do, don't do that to yourself, man. You don't need to bring yourself down that much. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Uh, but I, I'll keep rolling, rolling, rolling. And no. I think uh, until next time, no. I, uh, I, wish, I wish you the same. This has been, uh, this has been Take On Memes. All right. I'll see you, Will. I'll see you later, James. Boy. Thanks for checking out Take On Meme. Please like, subscribe and follow on social media so you don't miss the next episode.